My ex-fiancé cheated on me and left me to raise our son on my own. I, 21F, met Chris, 26M, when I was 17 and he was 22. I was fresh out of an abusive relationship and wasn't ready to date, the reason I bring this up is because it comes back into play later when shit basically hits the fan. Despite not feeling ready to date, Chris and I quickly jumped into a relationship because it was what he wanted at the time. Initially, everything was great, Chris created an environment where I felt safe to discuss anything. Those initial months were filled with happiness, marked by his kindness, care, sweetness, and playfulness. Around the fifth month of our relationship, there was a light-hearted moment where we jokingly discussed getting married, feeling like we were a perfect match. During this time, Chris was living with me as his mom had asked him to leave so his daughter and her mother could stay at his mom's place. I had also met his daughter and her mother by then. It became evident that Chris wasn't joking when, the morning I turned 18 he proposed to me in the park. For obvious reasons my mom didn't approve of any of this. In fact I remember her being quite mad because she felt I was too young and it was way too soon. And she was right. In the middle of our relationship, I noticed a shift in Chris's behavior. He stopped doing things he used to, and his temper worsened, especially when he drank heavily. While he hadn't become physically aggressive, he was way angrier and wanted more intense sex. If I didn't have sex with him he would pretty much ignore for the rest of the night. I also noticed the way he showed affection, like buying flowers and planning dates basically stopped, and his tone changed from happy when he was around me to annoyed. Surprisingly, when we discussed these changes, he felt I was the one who had changed. He expressed that I wasn't confiding in him anymore, making him feel I didn't care. I was shocked honestly and remember asking how I could change to fix those problems. I also raised the issue of his drinking, expressing concern for his health and the aggressive behavior it triggered. Even though we had that conversation and he said he would stop drinking so much nothing ever really changed. I remember one time when he was drunk that he choked me and I blacked out for a moment and he didn't believe that he had actually done it. A week before my 19th birthday I found out I was pregnant. Although this technically wasn't a good thing I was happy because previously I was told by my doctor that I couldn't have kids due to health problems. Chris was also happy because he had been wanting a son and turns out I was having a boy. The situation was pretty much a win-win, I learned that I actually could have kids and he got the son that he wanted. Despite him being really happy the first two weeks, he got really abusive right after. The first time he ever put his hands on me was when I was a few weeks pregnant. He ended up not only cheating while I was pregnant but being really abusive. He blamed me for how the relationship had turned out and said he wanted to go on a break from the relationship when I was around 7 months pregnant. We still lived together so the main focus of the break was for him to get help. Instead of doing that he cheated with one of the older women in the neighbor and then with someone else. He then told the new girl that I was the one who cheated and that the baby wasn't his. He blocked my number the same night he left to cheat and never told his mom the truth of what happened. She didn't know what happened until I told her and showed her messages. I ended up giving birth with my mom by my side and not him and I took him to court. Since he wasn't on the birth certificate I found that I didn't have to put him on child support and I felt that was the better option for me and my son. Not only do I not have a super toxic person in my life but now I don't have to worry about my son spending weekends with a really neglectful parent with a bad temper. So that's pretty much how my ex-fiancé cheated on me while I was pregnant and left me to raise my son on my own. And I'm kind of glad he did. My husband cheated who I have been with for 10 years and together for 15. I recently found out my husband whom I've been with since middle school cheated on me. We are in our late 20s now. He has been my only sexual partner and real relationship. I was the same for him until now obviously. I had never understood how people could forgive a cheater but here I am now trying to forgive and reconcile my marriage. Married for 10 years, together 15 years. I think what gets to me the most was that thing that made us special being together so long and in not having other sexual partners is now gone. I cannot fully get past that part. I have dived into my faith journey and trusting God to show my guidance. Which is how I found out about the cheating. 
I had went on a spiritual fast for 90 hours and asked God for clarity and if there was anything that needed to be revealed, may he reveal it. The next week I find out he is cheating on me on my birthday weekend when we were supposed to be celebrating me. The signs were ways there though I just never had physical proof. He would call me toxic and crazy for accusing him and wanting his location. We had been having a lot of issues over the summer and was just at my wits end about our relationship. He was taking his personal family trauma and coping with negative things like drinking and going out every weekend without me. He just became another person I didn't recognize anymore. Then with me going into a new spiritual journey and him being involved in the exact opposite was just pushing us even further away. How do you get to the point of forgiveness and trust again? I'm trying so hard to forgive but my thoughts overcloud my head and I get angry and sad and just hurt again. I've been trying to keep busy and improve myself as well. I know that I am not perfect either and am trying to actively work on that. It hasn't even been a month yet. Also the kicker is it's a co-worker and she still works with him. It bothers me that he is still spending time around her and I have no control over that. Am just supposed to trust the person who just betrayed me? The girl knew he was married. She had been watching my Instagram stories which I knew about and thought was weird. I confronted her twice on social media and she denied everything. It wasn't until I caught him at her house that either of them were honest, he gaslighted me when I brought it up. Even after physically being caught at her house he still tried to deny the relationship which felt even worse than the cheating, I trusted him. I always gave him so much trust in our relationship, let him go out with friends, tried to stay away from his personal stuff on his phone. It was the one thing I loved in our relationship, the feeling of security and loyalty from him. With that being said I have been unfaithful to him before when I was in middle school and we were dating. But now we are in a committed marriage with a child. I know it hurt him and I was honest to him right away when it happened and he took me back each time. So I feel like he deserves the same chance. His feelings about that are valid as well but I know if we are to move on together we have to let that stuff go and not punish each other with these mistakes made. Some days I feel so lost but I know I am doing my best. I hope I can learn to trust him again one day. If it happens again I cannot reconcile, I will move on. But I do love him still so I will stay for now and see how things work out. Both my boyfriend and I cheated on each other and he did so much worse, can we ever be together again? Need a bit of advice or just an outside opinion because I don't think I'm able to think rationally. My, 24F, boyfriend, 35M, and I were together for nearly two years and we were so in love with each other. For the last few months we were long distance because I wanted to live abroad and travel for a year before we settled down. Things went really wrong for us when we were apart, I went through some stuff, we argued non-stop, he became quite mean sometimes and we both made mistakes. After several weeks of trying to keep my distance, I cheated on him with my manager who I'd been experiencing a lot of chemistry with. I felt horrendous and I told my boyfriend the next day. He was furious at first but later confessed he'd been cheating on me with four different women since not long after I left. Honestly I could have forgiven him but he also confessed that he was under investigation for watching child pornography. He had a severe porn addiction which obviously got very dark for a few months, this was before we met. I don't think anything will come of the investigation, it's been a long time and the police don't seem to have found anything since he'd stopped before the police approached him but he knows what he did and now I do too. I was confused about my feelings because I was still so in love with him but I knew in my gut I couldn't be with someone who did what he did. He begged me not to but I broke up with him a few days after he told me everything. He said he'd always love me and that if I ever wanted him back he'd come running. Six months after the breakup and no contact, I am still in love with him and all I want is to be able to forget everything I know so we can be together. I know his arms would be wide open if I wanted to come back. My dilemma is he's gone to a lot of therapy over what he did, he says he feels like it was a different person and like that there was no attraction, it was a dopamine addiction thing and it just escalated out of control as addictions do. But at the same time that's just a red line for me. There's a lot of crimes I would completely look past, but anything involving children just feels like a point of no return. I know if it was one of my girlfriends going through this and they told me they wanted to go back to him I would suggest a lobotomy and I would never be able to accept it or their partner. But I am so, 
so in love with him and the time we were together was the happiest time of my life. It was just so easy. We understood each other on a level I never knew existed and I felt like I was at total peace with him. He brought calm, grounding, stability and peace into my life and I brought a bit more joy and adventure and fun into his. There was nothing I couldn't talk to him about, I've been in love before but this was a different level. We had already agreed that once I was ready we would get married, start a family and he would support anything I wanted to do with my life as I didn't really have it figured out yet. I've been with my manager who I cheated on him with pretty much since we broke up, at first it was just casual but it's a more serious thing now and he is a wonderful man, I definitely have feelings for him but when I think about my ex there's just no comparison. I truly don't think anyone else could make me that happy. This was my first Christmas away from home and I've been feeling really homesick and lonely even though I spent it with good friends. My ex sent me a voice message on Christmas Eve just saying that he still thought about me all day every day and that he loved me and hoped I was okay being away from home at this time of year. I ended up calling him because I just wanted to feel close to him and we both cried our eyes out and spoke about us and how much we love each other. I maintained that we couldn't be together again but he told me I didn't have to think about that until I came home. Since that phone call I can't stop thinking about how I would give anything to not know what I know. To have never have cheated on him so that he felt he had to tell me that. I wish I'd never left my home country and just stay with him. We'd have never cheated on each other if it weren't for the distance and he'd have never had to tell me about his past. Honestly. I would probably just suck it up and ran back to him considering how I'm feeling now, I don't feel like there's anybody else out there for me, I could never love like that again. But I told two of my closest friends, back home what he did. I was never going to tell a soul but I was all on my own on the other side of the world, I felt totally traumatized, so alone and I felt like I was going crazy sobbing myself to sleep every night, I had to talk to someone so I called my friends together and told them. They're my best friends and they would never accept our relationship if I went back. They'd never come to my wedding. They would probably never want to see me again if I ended up with someone who did what? He did. And I can see why. My question is, is there any solution here? Do I have to choose between the living rest of my life with the man I love more than anything but constantly living with skeletons in the closet and potentially losing my best friends? or losing him forever and asking myself every day what we could have been, meeting someone else and having a life with them but always thinking about somebody else? Am I ever going to be able to get over this and be happy?